Welcome back, foul mouth fishing, all you hookaholics. It is that time. Our September MTB Elite arrived. Let's crack in and see what good old Carl gave us in our September's mail order MTB Elite. Not to be confused with a retail MTB Elite, although the colors are the same. So uh, stay right there, and we'll see what we got for September. showed up and uh, let's crack into it shall we we've got our MTB still taped elite for uh, September 2021 uh, I have to admit I was unfortunately goaded via the YouTube algorithm into checking out some of our uh, our other favorite channel hookaholics out there and their reveals on these September boxes I just got mine today uh, Wednesday the 15th, um, so, you know, here it is, <laughs> a little late to the party, fashionably late, right, fashionably late, so, uh, <clears throat> I have an inkling of what might be inside, but as has happened many times before, my box doesn't always end up being the same as Bass Boxing Outdoors, No Redemption Outdoors, all of our friends out there, you know, uh, even realistic fishing when he has in the past. Well, he doesn't do these that often. I think he's only done like one or two. But all that said, uh, let's check it out and see what we got for uh, September 2021 MTB Elite. Okay, so I'm going to dig into the bottom because we always have to crack into the bottom and get to the most important thing of all of these boxes. There's only two important things in an MTB Elite. Come on, baby, come on. All righty. So, we've got our sticker. A number one, most important thing. The entire box could be empty as long as we get our little decal sticker. It's a win, right? <laughs> uh, so we got a little promo for the Bassmobile, which is uh, Catchco's traveling, a little uh, travel trailer that they've got set up. Um, quick little recap. I grew up on a little uh, shore community, and my first, one of my first jobs was working for the employer that employed my grandfather and my grandmother, which was a trailer park. So uh, I was an RV tech, so I repaired, replaced, completely rebuilt a lot of travel trailers and mobile homes and motor homes, well, mostly mobile homes, uh, back in the day. So it's cool to see Catch Co. with their little bass uh, travel trailer uh, that they tow around and, uh, and give a little, uh, you know, sharing stuff about it. But we got a cool little decal of the Bassmobile right there. Catch Co. logo on the tail. That's cool. We've got our What's in the Box card. Two, four, six, eight items. That's awesome. Eight items. I'll set that there for now. <clears throat> We've got ourselves a promo for something that I had an inkling would be in this. And this is cool. Uh, if you know one of the biggest baits right now on the market Early, early 2021, mostly late 2020, was the, um, the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. Uh, Catch Co. put together and designed their own version of it. They call it the Headhunter. It's a little bit of different nuance on the same design, but uh, they've got a little pamphlet here alluding to that particular lure. Um, I love the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. It is a pricey bait. So having something come from Catch Co. at a more reasonable retail price is always, uh, you know, appreciated. Let's put it that way. <laughs> and we've got our Dibble Digest. This time it's not just the four-fold pamphlet. It's the actual uh, little uh, Catch Co.'s Dibble Digest uh, magazine. Finding Peacock Bass in Colombia. You can find Peacock Bass in Florida. Why, why would I travel all the way to Colombia to get something I can get in Florida, right? Uh, on the line with Ryan Yin, uh, close encounters of the Chupacapra kind. Oh, Chupacarpra. <laughs> Chupacarpra. Would that be fish sucker? Is it a goat sucker? Okay, okay. Nice one, Carl. <laughs> I 
my head's full of a lot of trivia. So uh, we got the little Dibble Digest. That's pretty cool. And uh, <laughs> uh, planning a fishing trip can be stressful. So I've put together this scientific chart to plan it for you. Use your first name and birthday to figure out all the details of your fishing trip. And on the back, he's got a letter with a terminology, you know, these old scientific things. So let's see, the first letter of my first name would be S. So we've got noodling catfish. Uh, my birth month, July, in the Great Lakes. Better bring scuba gear. And uh, <laughs> my birthday... Uh, is the 8th. Oh, so with MTB Hat Guy. So me and the Hat Guy are going to go noodling in the Great Lakes for some catfish. Scuba gear and, uh, I don't know, a lot of anti-chap stuff for my torn up hands noodling. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Now let's get down to brass tacks. So we've got eight, eight items. We're going to start top of the line. Uh, as always, I'm going to list in uh, timestamp the baits as I go through them uh, with the timestamp so you can skip to each bait that you want to learn about. You don't have to watch the preamble or the tail end or listen to all my ramblings. You just skip to the next bait description and reveal. Starting off from Duo Realis. So that's part of, I think, Duo USA. Uh, Duo Realis Vibration Nitro. So this is one of their, their lipless cranks. So Duo International. Okay, so it's not the Duo US. Duo International, the Royalis Vibe Nitro Vibration 65. It is a two and a half inch, if I can get the cardboard out, two and a half inch lipless crank. It weighs five eighths of an ounce. This is their smoky bone color. Um, there you go. Nice, I like the smoky eyes. You see around the eye socket, they have this nice faint little smoke patch kind of like you know maybe it's maybelline i don't know pretty large single knocker deep thud so you got that well you can't hear because all the other hardware rattling but you got a nice uh, nice rattle going on when you're drawing this back to the boat that's probably what it's going to sound like underwater pretty cool uh again Dual Realis is a great JDM brand. Um, even the U.S. versions of it, the U.S. market side of it, uh, I've I love a lot of the Duo products. Sometimes I change out the hardware, um, but the overall bodies and and the hard bait designs I I've, I've always thought were great. So this is a number six hook on it. Uh, if you wanted it to fish a little deeper, you can always put like you know a larger hook on it. Um, if you wanted it, you know, you can always add the little red hook. That's neither here nor there. But uh, pretty cool. So it's a nitro. These are really well designed to fish quickly. So it's a, a rip bait. So throw it out there. Rip, rip, rip. Pause it a little second. Rip it in. Pause it a little second. Give it random cadence. And uh, you should probably catch some pretty good bass on this. Um, pretty good anything, actually. Any, any predatory fish that might like. So we've got the Duo Realis... Uh, Duo International for $13.99. Awesome little vibration, um, you know, in lieu of having a Bill Lewis rattle trap. Good for this time of season. Uh, first day of fall, starting today, or is it autumn? First day of autumn was today, Wednesday? Uh, not bad. From Weston, another high ticket, high price company. For $12.99, we have the Weston Spot On Top Water. So this is one of their pencil poppers. Um, this is a four inch half ounce pencil bait, plug, spook, whatever you want to call them. Mm. Again, it's got a rattle in it. It's actually got a nice set of rattles in the front. You can hear that. And in the tail, you've got two BBs in the tail that are suspended right in this tiny little chamber. There's not much motion to them. But that is definitely going to add enough tail weight to give you the, the ability to bomb these casts out for this. So you've got a good distance bait. Comes with a little uh, D-ring on there. Not your standard circular O-ring. It's got the oval ring. So that's pretty cool. That, that definitely helps you not get tied up with that front treble as often. Little cues of chartreuse. 
uh, both on the chin. Got this nice yellow chartreuse, little green, uh, almost mossy green color, and that nice orange and chartreuse uh, hint you've got on the fins there, right behind the gill plates. Uh, not bad at all. I like this color. I like, really like this color scheme. This is a really awesome paint job. Um, almost, almost, but I'm not insane, but almost to the point of not wanting to throw it. But again, I'm not insane. I want to catch fish. I'd rather use a bait, not collect it and let it carry dust on a mantle, as long as it's going to catch me fish, because the fun is fishing a bait. It's designed to be fished. Uh, so, that being said, four inches, half ounce, top water. They call it the ghost hunter. Floating ghost hunter is the, uh, the color. Floating ghost hunter. So, the ghost being the fact that it's a translucent, uh, not transparent. So, you can see through it slightly, especially around, like, this section right here and towards the tail where you can see the BBs coming through. But it's got enough color inside that it's not completely transparent. Really cool. I'm going to have fun with that for certain. That I'm going to enjoy tossing. I love top water. Uh, who doesn't, right? Top water blow ups are a fisherman's, uh, you know, RC Cola, Jolt, whatever. Next, what was alluded to in that uh, little pamphlet, uh, that press pamphlet. So we have our 10,000 Fishes Headhunter, which is their rendition of the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. There's a lot of brands out there that have gone to that bait uh, style. Um, this is really cool. These have a magnetic hook keeper uh, that prevents the hook from, or keeps the hook semi-weedless uh, so that it prevents a lot of the frustration you'd have because this is a bottom swimming bait. Uh, you don't have to typically or necessarily drag this. Excuse me. Lost my card. don't have to drag this across the bottom. Really, you want to hop it and let it flutter down. Um, this actually excels if you were to pop it up and let it flutter down. Pop it up and let it flutter down. This big boot tail on the tail end gives you a ton of action. And one of the reasons why they designed this with this, uh, this fin on each side, this split fin, to protect it against weeds is so that when you can rip it through a grass line and then let it drop down into that grass and then pull it out through the grass and let it flutter down into the grass. It gives you that feeding, bottom feeding bait fish profile because it's set to, uh, to sit nose down uh, by the weight underneath the chin, but it allows you to rip it out through the grass and still get plenty of action on that tail. You can see it just, that's just me holding still and it's still fluttering. Um, again, it has that cool little pull out hook. So the hook releases uh, so that you're not using the weight of the bait when you're fighting the fish, you're basically just like you were Texas rigged on a soft plastic. You're just the, the hook and the fish um, pinned in it is all you're really dealing with. Uh, and then it retracts back behind those split soft plastic wings uh, to give it a little bit of a weedless presentation. Excellent bait. Uh, the Dark Sleeper, awesome bait. Everybody, it's one of those, uh, you know, go-tos. So uh, having a 10,000 fish uh, version of that, again, price, like, pricey but not nearly as much as the dark sleeper at nine dollars and 99 cents this is an excellent budget alternative for that other uh for that other bait uh okay next on the list five dollars and 99 cents we have from uh catch outdoors this is their zero gravity jig now this is really cool uh again like i said i, I did have sort of a predisposition to uh to uh, seeing uh, some other YouTubers reveal their boxes. Uh, it's nice to have this in my hands because I can really get a sense for what was being said by, uh, by people like Bass Boxing Outdoors. So if any of this information uh, you know, intrigues you, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that like notification so that, uh, so that this video goes out into the ether and gets shared uh, and put in people's uh, suggestions. So, uh, you know, the more traction we get, the faster we can grow, and the faster we get to our bigger giveaways as we go along. Uh, that all being said, I can totally agree with what, uh, what Dwayne said over at, uh, at Bass Boxing Outdoors, which was, this is really a feather light uh, jig. So, zero gravity, they've got this as the lead-free, slow-falling uh, jig, it falls at one foot for every three seconds. 
So, so in a three foot pond or three foot depth, you've got, you know, nine seconds. So you'll know you can count this out as you're, as you're actually falling. And knowing what this falls at, at this fall rate, you can use this to really, as a bank fisherman, without all the fancy electronics that uh, the big boats have, you can actually learn how to judge uh, your depth perceptions. Just tie this on, whip it out there, and count your fall until the line hits bottom, and you'll know a relative depth, uh, plus or minus, um, for what your, your waterway is actually fishing at. So that's really cool. This is extremely light, extremely light for a jig head. Uh, almost, like, it almost feels like plastic, to be honest. Lead-free, awesome. Four-aught uh, four hook. It's a nickel-coated jig hook, so that's pretty cool. It's got the uh, bell keeper on the inset, so it's just a little bulbous, um, I call them mushroom head keepers, but it's the bell keeper. Uh, it's not like it's got a wire hook keeper, which does tend to work a little bit better for, uh, for soft plastics holding them. But you can just put a dab of super glue on there, shove your soft plastic uh, trailer on it, it'll stick long enough for you to make your casts, and you can still pull it off and replace your trailers as need be. Nice color. They don't list a color here, do they? Um, compression skirt, nickel jig, 4 aught swim, pinch, twitch, wake, uh, Carolina rig. Uh, it doesn't give you a color. Well, Golden Craw. Golden Craw. It's a Golden Craw. Uh, so, the undisputed Golden Craw lightweight, featherweight jig. Nice to have. I'm going to I'm going to definitely get this out and uh, and see what that fish is like because I honestly, Scout's Honor, I've never seen a uh, or felt a jig this light uh, with this large of a profile. And this lightweight with a large keel with the right bulky plastic to give you enough casting weight behind your, your cast, I bet you this thing would skip like crazy. Um, the only other good skipping jig heads that I've had are those flat disc jigs. I love skipping those because it really is like skipping a nickel or skipping a rock, a flat rock across the, across the lake. Um, they skip amazingly. So I would, I would venture a guess with this lightweight uh, and this large keel, this would probably skip pretty darn well. So, uh, again, the Zero Gravity uh, from Catch Outdoors is $5.99. That, that's, uh, that's tickling my mind. For $5.49 uh, from Crypto Lures, this is their bulldozer. So, Crypto, Crypto, we got a soft plastic uh, worm, tube bait. Well, not tube bait, worm bait. They never give you a whole lot of information on the crypto brand, uh, but it's a flat, flat bait. See the profile, very slim that direction, very wide and bulbous this direction. It has bobbles, little balls, one, two, three, four in line, a ring tail, and a flat bulbous paddle on the tail end, the very end of this. So that is a very interesting design for a soft plastic worm. Uh, I would venture this would probably be best on drop shot uh, just because that flat paddle, long tail, a lot of meat in the head. So to me, working that on a drop shot would be a money-making uh, uh, way to execute this soft plastic. It just smells like soft plastic. It doesn't smell like anything in particular. Uh, Crypto Lures. Not a company that I'm unfamiliar with. I've, I do have quite a few of their items. They hold up pretty well. Their plastic's pretty stout. Um, interesting design. Very much like a, like a worm or a snake or a newt or even a tadpole. It's got two little bulbous eyes on the head. Uh, but again, like I said, I, I probably fish this 99% of the time on a drop shot. Okay, next for $5.29. We're just dropping... Down the, down the ranks. From Hoax Fish, this is the Chiseler. Hoax, Hoax Fish. Chiseler. So you got like a ringtail, very large profile ringtail worm. So this one definitely does have a scent. Sort of a baitfishish kind of smell. Now, you 
we've got a very nice wide uh, head profile there with your rings to catch a lot of water and create a bubble trail. Uh, that's awesome because it's large. It'll bump up really nicely against a jig head. Um, and you've got enough meat between the very tip and the first ring to trim down if you want to get a really, really nice profile. I bet you this would even fish well on a fish head jig. Um, that being said, Texas rigged with a nice sinker uh, pinned. That would work well as well. You could match up the profile to your sinker, be it lead or tungsten. And the large enough hook, you've got a groove cut into here for your hook placement on the egg sack of what would be a worm. That's right. You can see it right there, that groove right in there. Uh, ring tail again, and then it's got almost a spear point tail, which is kind of interesting. Um, Nico rigged, I think this would be great. Nail weight on the tail, Nico rigged, back hooked. I think that would give an awesome profile, you know, just bobbling around, head down, tail a fluttering like that. I think uh, that's the way I'd go with this one. It has a lot of plastic, a lot of bulk, so it's a good sized, uh, you know, a good sized profile for a larger hungry fish. Hoax fish, I am. I don't want to say that I'm very accustomed to them. I don't think I have much hoax fish uh, products. So this is a company made in the USA, but it's a company I haven't heard of, at least to the best of my recollection off the top of my head right now. It's something that I'm not really familiar with. Um, again, it's going to be Golden Craw, even though it's more of a green pumpkin uh, color, a dark green pumpkin color with black flake. Uh, same with the Crypto, same, same colorway. Uh, again, and that was $5.29. Two more to go. We've got for Z-Man, uh, the TRD, for, so we got Elastex. This is their Molting Crawl in the 4-inch four four six-pack of the TRDs. Great for Ned rigging. Um, this is the big turd, not the standard turd. So, again, Molting claw, Crawl. So you get that dark color along with that nice little bright orange tone, and it is the Elastec TRD is so well known for. <laughs> so if you can stretch a bait out to make it into a necktie, you know it's, it's durable. And uh, they do salt these a little bit, so when you pull them, you'll get all of that, uh, that micro salt to come out. And one of those things about TRDs, that's something I always do right before I rig up my TRD soft plastics, I give them a good solid stretch. I count to like five and then I slowly retract it. And you can see if you look really closely to the outside edges, especially here in the light where I have the light, you'll see the little ticks of salt. And maybe you can catch them on my fingers. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on my fingertips, but there's just a little hint of salt that'll pull out of them and it'll give you a rough texture and, a, and a, an explosion of taste into the fish fish's mouth there's a comparison there's the pulled one and then there's the straight out of the pack more dense and softer or darker color and then you can see where the salt has released here and given you more of a, a frosting color to the uh, to the bait um, so yeah there's a there's a good side-by-side -side comparison. Frosting here from the pulled bait. Darker, richer orange color here from the straight out of the pack bait. Um, again, something that I do, it just releases that salt, makes it a little bit more tempting, in my opinion, towards the fish, helps them hold on. And that was $4.49 for those TRDs. And finally, we have some drop shots, drop shot hooks from Harmony. This is a three pack. Let's see, it doesn't say how many. Let's see. I only count three in here. So we're going to call it a three pack teaser package of uh, Harmony's fishing drop shot hooks. These are from their Razor series. Uh, and again, like I said, these, I'd go straight with uh, these, uh, these Crypto Lures profiles. Me, I use more of like a I use more of like a um, uh, octopus hook for my drop shots over over these little guys. 
Um, but that's just me. I mean, this is this is honestly what I use to go catch bluegill and bait fish and stuff like that. When I'm using my ultralight stuff, I go up a little bit bigger, even for my drop shots, because I just when I'm drop shotting, I want bigger fish. Uh, I'm not really hunting for panfish on a drop shot, although you can get them. And you can get monsters on a tiny little drop shot on a light line rig and an ultralight setup. Absolutely. So don't go in there with your ultralights thinking you're just, uh, you know, futzing around for bluegill and, uh, you know, your occasional little warm mouth or something. And you end up catching yourself a five pound bass. You better know how to play it because it'll, you'll lose it that quick if you're not attentive. So that all said, what do you think about this box? This is, uh, I lost my card. Whatever. Uh, it was interesting. I, I didn't know. I had a good ankling about the 10,000 fishes, uh, the, the headhunter. Um, I really liked that. And, uh, you know, the other thing was that, uh, that, that jig, this jig head here, I, again, surprisingly light. Surprisingly light. So I'm really going to be interested in how that zero gravity jig head uh, plays. As always, I appreciate all you guys spending a little time with me. Uh, you know, 20 minutes or so. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, keep ringing those bells because, uh, you know, that's how these things gain traction and that's how this content goes out there. As always, comment, share with me your opinions on any of these baits that I've listed and uh, anything that I've ever done, past, present, or future. If you've got an idea, share it with me. Um, shortly, YouTube has adapted their protocol, so now I should be getting a community tab. So I'll be doing a lot more posts, polls, uh, interactions direct with you uh, through the community tab once I am eligible to, to, uh, to use it. I'll adapt and I'll be using that primarily. Um, I'm really not a big social butterfly. I don't do a whole lot of the, uh, you know, the, the Facebooking for this site or for this channel, nor do I do a whole lot of uh, Instagram or Twitter. It's just not really in me. My life is very hectic and I just... I don't have all that much interesting stuff to post tweets constantly. Um, I'm not one to take pictures of my breakfast, lunch, and dinner and post that. So that being said, I try to keep a lot of my interactions with you here in the channel based on the channel. Uh, with that all said, tell me, should I do more interactions, more commentary, more, uh, you know, his things day to day on Twitter or on uh, my Instagram page? Uh, you tell me if you really do use that more often and want more of a little bit of content pictures or what have you, uh, I'll try to learn more about that and I'll try to put out a little bit more on those sites as well as uh, here at YouTube. So as always, thank you very much for spending a little time with me. Uh, peace. I hope you all enjoyed your, uh, your weekend. Enjoy the weather while we got it because it's a cold one down the corner. Uh, and as always, from me to you, I'll catch you on the next cast. Take care, Hocaholics.